Hallelujah. Blessings to you all on tonight. God bless. God bless. God bless. We are on our prayer line. We are now on Facebook and we are now on Periscope. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. When I tell you all that today has been a day for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today has been a day. You know, today has been not a trying day, but it's been an adventurous day. <laughs> glory to God. It has been full of a lot of activity. Hallelujah. I was able to get my walk in um, this morning. Glory to God. I was able to get some things done in the house. Hallelujah. And how many of you know, you know, when you're transitioning, when you are, when you have moved, glory to God, um, it's not always easy. Amen. It's not always easy. Glory to God. And I'm saying that because, you know, the preparation of moving is one thing. But then once you get to your destined place, that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's another thing right there. Amen. And so I just thank God for this day, you know, for this is the day, hallelujah, that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I don't know what's going on with this thing right here, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> Amen. Blessings to you all once again. If you see me looking here, I'm looking at Periscope. If you see me looking here, I'm looking at Facebook. God bless each and every one of you on tonight. I'm excited in the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited in Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to talk about the presence of the Lord tonight. I need you all to grab, um, if you can turn in your Bibles to Psalm um, 16, verse 11. Can you do that for me tonight? Psalm 16 and 11. Take a moment to um, turn there quickly. All right. Psalm 16, verse 11. Glory to God. We're going to read that before we pray on tonight. Amen. And it reads. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Glory to God. The psalmist is very clear with the scripture. He says, thou wilt show me the path of life. Hallelujah. And earlier today, as I was on the live, you know, I began to talk about how um, there are many who don't know the path that God has for them. You know, there are many who are just going through the motions or, you know, they're just having church or, you know, they just, you know, doing, you know, going through the motions, um, um, you know, of, of church or going through the motions of being in the ministry or, you know, not really having total victory. Amen. And that's because they don't know the purpose why God created them. Amen. They don't know the path that God has for them. And so the psalmist says, once again, he says, "Wilt thou show me, show me, show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. Amen. Come on, somebody grab this real quick. I need you to grab this in your spirit. He says in thy presence, in your presence, God, there's fullness of joy. He says in that your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you on tonight, Father God. Father, before we ask for anything, we take this moment to repent of our sins, Father. Father, we repent right now in the name of Jesus, God. We ask, God, that you forgive us for all sin. Father, we ask right now that you will wash us clean, that you will purify us once again, Father, as only you can. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we don't want anything to hinder the moving of your spirit. So, Father, we ask right now, God, that your spirit would be present with us. Lord, we thank you even now, God, that you're faithful and just to forgive us for all sin. Holy Spirit, have your way on tonight. Have your way on our prayer line, oh God. Have your way on this broadcast, Father. Father, we thank you even now for moving mightily by your Spirit once again, God. We thank you for this ministry, Lord. We thank you for every member, every covenant partner, Father. We just decree and declare right now miracles, signs, and wonders in this atmosphere tonight. Father, we thank you that as we talk about your presence, God, that as we just invoke your presence, presence on tonight, that Holy Spirit, you would have your way. Lord, somebody needs a move of your spirit on tonight. Somebody needs another touch, God. Somebody needs strength to keep on going, Father. So we thank you right now, God. Yes, God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your power, God. We thank you for another push in the realm of the spirit, Lord. Father, we just decree and declare right now in this atmosphere, God, that you would get all the glory, you would get all the honor, and 
and you will get all the praise. Father, we just ask right now, God, that I am a shando. Yes, God, that you would have your way in this atmosphere, Lord. Oh, God, that you will remove any and everything that's not like you, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the power of prayer tonight. Yes, God, for the power of prayer changes things, but most of all, it changes us. So, Father, we thank you for changing us on tonight, God. Yes, Lord. We thank you even now for another touch, God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, for fresh fire, your fresh anointing being released on this broadcast tonight. Oh, God, we ask right now, God, that you will come on into this space, Lord God. We give you this space and we give you this time, God, to have your way in this atmosphere, dear Lord. Oh, God, we thank you even now, God, for your precious Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Oh, God, your Holy Spirit leads and guides us into all truth. Now, Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. Mm. Somebody needs to be encouraged, God. Somebody is ready to give up, Father. Somebody is ready to throw in the towel, God. But we thank you that your spirit, yes, Lord, hallelujah, is encouraging them on tonight to keep on going. Oh, God, we thank you now for another touch, God. Oh, God, touch your people. Touch every man. Touch every woman. Touch every child tonight, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus for your glory. And we thank you in advance, God, for what you're getting ready to do. Yes, God, we praise you, Lord for what you've already done. Oh, God, you've been an amazing God. You, Oh, God, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, you've been a right now, God. Yes, Lord. And we thank you, oh, God, yes, God, for a recharge and a re... Oh, God, a refilling of your spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. We thank you right now, God, that you're in the midst of us. You said with two or three are gathered, yes, God. You will be in the midst, Father. So we thank you for being in the midst of us now. Holy Spirit, move mightily. Yes, God. Red man sukora mashanda. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now, Father. Oh, God, that somebody's going to get their prayer life back. We thank you right now, God. Yes, Lord. That somebody's going to be stirred up in their spirit again. Father, we thank you tonight. Yes, God. That you're moving even now. Yes, Lord. And we give you praise in advance. We give you glory in advance. We thank you for the touch. Oh, God, I hear you. In the realm of the spirit, oh, God. We thank you for pulling that person out of a pit tonight. Oh, God, and placing their feet on a solid foundation. We thank you tonight, God, that somebody's going to leave the broadcast changed. Somebody's going to leave the prayer line changed. Somebody's going to leave Periscope changed tonight. Father, we thank you even now as we decree and declare in this atmosphere that your will will be done on tonight. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, we glorify your Father, and we say, have your way on tonight. Oh, God, sweep through our homes, Father. Oh, God, sweep through our jobs, Lord. Oh, God, sweep through the atmosphere, Lord, and have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, oh, God. Oh, God, go into somebody's home tonight. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. And Father, whatever was out of place, oh, God, put it back in place. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. For somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody needs to see what the end is going to be. Somebody needs to keep on running tonight. So Father, give them the strength that they need to keep on going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for another push, God. And we thank you for perseverance. Yes, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, have your way on tonight. You get the glory, you get all the honor, and you get all the praise. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need somebody to shout amen in this atmosphere. Hiya. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power, Lord. Thank you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is here, people of God. And whatever you need from God, amen, you need to pull on the anointed. Amen. You need to pull on God tonight. Hallelujah. 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 You need to give him a right now praise. Amen. Because God is getting ready to shift your situation. Mm. Ha, ah, yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm going from a bad report to a good report. Woo, I hear that in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody received a, a bad report, but God is going to give you a good report. Mm. For we shall believe the report of the Lord. Come on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I believe the report of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Hallelujah. The woman of God got her praise on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to try that one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Amen. Glory to God. All right. We had to get that together. Thank you, Minister Yvette. Glory to God for that right now. Praise. Hallelujah. The woman of God just said, listen, she said, I believe I am a shando. I don't know who needs to hear that tonight, but she said, I believe the report of the Lord. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. Somebody needs to believe God's report. What did God say? Mm. What did the Lord say concerning your situation? Come on. What did God say? Mm, mm. that's what you stand on hiya yes god i said that's what you stand on you stand on the report of the lord what did god say he said by his stripes Woo! somebody need to lift your hands right here glory to god he said by his stripes you are what healed Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Hallelujah. My mind is healed. My heart is healed. My body is healed. Glory. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to decree and declare that thing in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. If you, if you have migraine headaches today, hallelujah, you just need to put your hand on your head and say, by his stripes, I am already healed. Glory to God. And you got to walk in your healing. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like somebody was sick on yesterday and even on today. Hallelujah. The Lord says, receive your healing now. Ah, glory to God. I speak to your blood. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And I command it to be regulated in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. I speak to your blood cells. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And I command them to be level in Jesus mighty name. Father, we thank you for your divine healing power. Yes, God. We thank you right now for removing all aches and pains, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. I hear you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you even now for your divine healing power. For you are Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that healeth thee. Somebody needs healing tonight. Hiya. Yes, God. And the Lord says, if you would just lift your hands right here. Hallelujah. He's going to touch you right where you are. Glory, 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 glory. I feel victory in this atmosphere. Somebody shout something amazing happens in his presence. Mm. We're going to talk about it on tonight. I said something amazing happens in his presence. Mmm. I said something amazing. <laughs> Glory to God. It happens in his presence. Woo. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I said something amazing is going to happen in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, God. I feel revival all in my belly, y'all. Hallelujah. And I make no apologies. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But I feel the revival, revival fire. Hallelujah. Coming upon somebody on tonight. Mm. Woo. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Hey, glory to God. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. I feel God moving right here. Hiya, yes, Lord. Somebody shout, it's by his spirit, he's going to heal me. Come on, somebody shout, it's by his spirit, he's going to heal me. Ah, yes, God. Somebody shout, it's by his spirit that he's going to heal you. See, it's a spiritual thing. That's why many people don't receive it. Come on here. Hiya, yes, God. We're going to teach on um the presence of God in a minute. Hallelujah. But see, that's why many people don't receive from the Lord, because they're not in tune with his spirit. But something happens. Glory to God, when you are in tune, whoo, I feel victory tonight. Mm, hallelujah. What you were facing on yesterday, the Lord says you shall see it no more. Hey, glory to God. He said those weights that you were carrying. Oh my God, I hear you. He says, I'm lifting the heavy weights even now. He said the burden, higher, yes God, that was upon your shoulders. He says, I'm carrying it for you now. Because see, some of y'all prayed on today. Some of you decreed and declared a thing on today. Some of you said, God, I need you to move for me. Some of you said, Lord, I need to hear a word. Hiya. Hallelujah. So because you pulled on the anointed, because you prayed and you already asked God for it, he's going to give it to you. Somebody shout, it belongs to me. It's my portion tonight. Hallelujah. I receive from the Lord tonight. Ah, yes, God. See, sometimes you got to, you got to just say it just like that. 
Hallelujah. Come on, you got to say it just like that. Lord, I receive from you on tonight. My, my, my. And just like when you go in the presence of the Lord, when you go to church service or when you go to a conference or you go to a revival or see, we're going to talk about the presence of God in a minute. But see, you got to understand people of God. Hallelujah. That listen, God wants to give you everything, but it's in his presence. Mm. I said he wants to give you everything. Hallelujah. But guess what? It's in his presence. Glory to God. It's in his presence that you're going to receive from him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So when the spirit of God is moving, that's when you got to tap in, Sister Michelle. That's when you got to tap in, Sister Kia. That's when you got to tap in, Sister Pamela. Come on, Sister Elena. That's when you got to tap in to the glory. Hallelujah. That's when you got to lift your high up. I shendo. Ooh, I feel a breaking tonight. That's when you got to just lift your hands in his presence. Somebody show in his presence, there's fullness of joy. I'm going to get what I need tonight in his presence. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, it's ringing up in your spirit. Hallelujah. Why? Because you are a spiritual being. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why God said we don't wrestle, hallelujah, in the flesh. Glory to God. We war in the spirit. Hallelujah. So when your body is racking with pain, glory to God, you just got to get in his presence. Woo! Yes, God. I said when your body is racking with pain, you just got to get in his presence. Mm. I'm going to teach you how to get in his presence, people of God. I'm going to tell you tonight how to get in his presence and to stay there. Woo! Yes, God. Hallelujah. Sister Stephanie, glory to God. I know you're ready tonight, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's, let's, just, let's just go to the word for a minute here. Hallelujah. We came from Psalm 16 and 11. The psalmist says, what did he say? We're going to read it one more time. That thou will show me the path of life. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. Come on. And at his right hand, there are what? Pleasures. Somebody shout pleasures. Listen, God wants to give you pleasures, but it's his pleasures. Pleasures. Come on. God wants to give you what it is that he has for you, but it comes from him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And see, that's how you receive the blessing from the Lord. Glory to God. See, a lot of people want the blessings of God. And guess what? You can't get it on your own. You can't do it by yourself. Come on. It's in his presence that you're going to receive from him. Glory to God. That's why you have to stay in the presence of the Lord. Amen. When you spend time with God, worshiping him, praying to him, studying his word, that's when the non-fruit of the spirit will begin to overflow in your relationship with God. I'm going to say that one more time. Yes, God, consume us, Lord, tonight. Hallelujah. When you spend time with him, mm -hmm, worshiping him. Listen, I want to just pause right here for a minute. In the morning when you get up, who's the first person you talk to? Come on. When you get up in the morning, do you say good morning, Jesus? Come on. Hallelujah. Because that's what I say. Glory to God. I say good morning, Jesus. Because guess what? He didn't have to wake us up. Come on. I need you all to share this video on Facebook. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen, share, tag somebody. Come on. Come on. Share on Facebook. Share with your followers on Periscope. Those of you on the prayer line, text message somebody right now and give them the number and the access code and tell them we on right now. I need you all to share this video one more time. If you shared already, I want you to type shared with a heart. Okay. Can you do that for me? Glory to God. When you spend time worshiping God. So in the morning, when you get up in the morning, you, you, you just welcome God's presence. However you do it. I say, good morning, Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. That, that's what I say. Amen. Because I'm so thankful that God woke me up because guess what? People die in their sleep. Listen, listen, when you are asleep, that's the closest you are to death. Did y'all know that? You can read up on it. Glory to God. When you are asleep, that's the closest you are because it's easy for you to slip away. It's easy for God to just, you know, take the breath out of you. Come on, somebody. The Bible says that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so I just want to encourage you tonight. Thank you all for sharing. Yes, continue to share. Invite. Listen, share. Come on. Come on, glory to God. Share in a few prophetic groups. You know, if somebody can share in our ministry group on tonight, go ahead on and share. Somebody needs this teaching on tonight. And even when you pray, you're in his presence. 
Glory to God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Talk to Jesus first. You got it. Listen, listen, when you pray, hallelujah, and you're talking to God, guess what? You are invoking his presence. Listen, and stay right there. Hallelujah. Stay right there. Now, everybody may not be, you know, in, in a mature place of prayer, meaning you might just start praying the Lord's prayer, right, Sister Carmen? You might just pray, you know, the Our Father's prayer, which is great. That's a great prayer to pray, right? That's Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 12. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 12 says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. For thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Father, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Set us free from all that is evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. And so there are times that you got to pray the Our Father's Prayer. Hallelujah. Early in the morning. Hallelujah. We're going to teach a little bit on tonight. Is that all right? Because you need to get in the presence of God and you need to stay there. Amen. Somebody shout, I need to get in his presence and I need to stay there. Higher. Yes, God. Because guess what? In his presence, the enemy cannot find you. Woo. Hallelujah. When you are in his presence, you are literally hidden from the enemy. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to say it again. When you are in the presence of the Lord, you are hidden. You are covered. Glory to God. He covers you with his feathers. We're going to talk about it in a minute, y'all. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. That's right. That's right, Sister Kia. She says, I need to get in his presence and stay there. Mm. Woo. Yes, God. He's going to transform you in his presence. Glory to God. And then the Lord says, when you spend time with him, read his words. Glory to God. Here in this ministry, I encourage our members to read at least three scriptures a day. All right. I may not be your pastor. Amen. Glory to God. But if you're connected to this ministry, then I want you to take this teaching as well. To our members and our covenant partners. Glory to God. I teach you all to read at least three scriptures a day. Amen. Let's go back to prayer. If, if you pray five minutes, then pray 10 minutes. Start, start increasing your prayer. All right. Because what that's going to do, that's going to build relationship with God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, build relationship with God. Amen. And that's what he wants. Relationship. Somebody shout relationship. Glory to God. God wants relationship from us. Mm -hmm. Because how many of you know, it's just like a marriage. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A marriage is between a husband and a wife, right? Glory to God. And what happens is that communication, glory to God, is what builds their relationship. Come on, somebody. So if there's no communication, then there's no relationship. Y'all got that? Come on. Hallelujah. But God wants relationship from you. He wants to commune with you. He wants to sup with you. He wants to eat with you. He wants to dine with you. Woo, yes, God. Somebody shout, God wants me. Mm. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God wants me. Oh, yes. He wants you. He wants you. He wants all of you. Mm. I'm ministering to somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Because you're going to come out of that dry place. You're going to come out of that barren place. You're going to come out of that low place tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to come out because you're going to realize that it's in his presence that's the fullness of joy. It's in his presence. That's everything that you need. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, come on. It's an awesome teaching on tonight. It's going to bless you. Let's stay right here for a minute. So you have the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit will begin to overflow in your relationship with God. Now, we've been talking about the nine fruit of the spirit, right? Listen, and most of you have done your homework assignments already, right? And so if you have not submitted your homework assignment, I need you to submit it as soon as possible. And the homework assignment is to read the nine fruit of the spirit, Galatians chapter five, verse 22 and 23. Okay. It talks about the nine fruit of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, and temperance, which is patience. The Bible says against such, there is no law. Amen. Glory to God. And so you have the nine fruit of the spirit which are God's attributes. And so the homework assignment is, amen, for you to pray and you to seek God and you ask God what fruit you do not have. Now, the reason why you have to ask God is because sometimes you just may not know the fruit that you really don't have. Come on. You might not really have the love of God. 
in your heart. Come on, somebody. And then God will reveal to you, no, you need my love. Come on. You might not have the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Which, which is your strength. Glory to God. You might find yourself weak from day to day to day to day to day. And that means you need God's joy. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then you might realize that you don't know how to suffer long. You know, you might have tests. You might have trials. You might have situations. And you realize, you know what? I don't know how to suffer. Glory to God. And see, suffering long, people of God, that gives you the ability to go through a thing. Hallelujah. And waiting on God to bring you out. Come on, that's long suffering. Glory to God. I didn't know we was going to go in this, but we're going to stay right here for a minute because we're still talking about the presence of the Lord and we're talking about the attributes of God because when you're in his presence, he's going to reveal these things to you. Hallelujah. Even the peace of God. Somebody shout the peace of God. Hallelujah. His peace is one of his nine fruit, right? Yes, yes, yes. And so that's your homework assignment. When you ask God and he reveals to you the fruit that you don't have, I want you to send it to my email. My email is uh, prophetic. I'm sorry, prophetesscarmen100 at gmail.com. That's my email, prophetesscarmen100 at gmail.com. And I want you to just email me your homework, all right? Glory to God. And your homework consists of the fruits that you don't have. All right, because I'm going to be praying for you. Amen. That God will give it to you. Hallelujah. That God will first show you, then God will give it to you. Amen. And then you're going to write the scriptures. I'm telling you, it's going to bless your life. You're going to write the definition of the fruit. And then you, biblically, right? And then you're going to write the scriptures, right? Sister Sequita, she did her homework. Glory to God. Many of you did your homework. And your homework assignments were amazing, okay? They were really amazing. And I know it did something for you. Sister Pamela, I, I talked about it um, the other day on the broadcast. How, you know, she sent me a couple messages. Glory to God. She thought the messages was long. But guess what? No, the messages were just what was needed. She was sharing with me how she was up and she couldn't sleep and how God, yes, Lord, how God began to deal with her about the different fruits that she didn't have. Come on. And when we realize when we're in his presence, we, listen, God shows us us, the real us. Come on. He will show you the real you in his presence. Come on. <laughs> I got both hands lifted. Hallelujah. God would say, no, daughter, you was wrong for that. No, you handled that wrong. No, your attitude was this. Come on. No, you, you could have you did better in that area. Come on. Come on. He'll say, no, daughter, you need more love. Come on, somebody. Even when I, even when I believe that I have the love of God, I'm talking about like all the way, y'all. That's when God will send somebody else. Come on, somebody. And I have to exemplify that love. Come on, <laughs> you got to keep exemplifying that love. Come on, you, you can't turn it off. Come on here, hallelujah. Sadness will try to come and then the, the God is saying, no, you need my joy, you need my peace. Come on, depression will try to overtake you and if you're not careful, hallelujah, it can overtake you. Who am I talking to tonight? And that's when you got to realize, no, I need the joy of the Lord, which is my strength. Come on, come on. Come on, because then we realize what it is that we need God to help us with. Come on, and then we then we know how to pray. Amen, somebody shout, then I would know how to pray. Ooh, that's good right there, that's a golden nugget. Hallelujah, then you will know how to pray. Thank you all for the super hearts and the hearts on Periscope tonight. Glory to God, then you will know how to pray. Amen, come on, because a lot of times you get stuck in prayer. The reason why you get stuck in prayer, help me Holy Ghost, the reason why you get stuck in prayer is because it's not really a genuine, sincere prayer. Come on, we're going to have morning glory prayer starting Monday at 7 a.m., all right, 7 a.m. on Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Amen. We, you could just you could just dial in. You can mute your phone out. Listen and just just tap in with us as we go before the throne of grace. Amen. But it's starting Monday, and I want to say this: um, God wants a sincere prayer. We still talking about the presence of the Lord, right? Listen, He wants a sincere prayer. So when you first start praying, you may find yourself, and I don't know who this is for tonight. You may find yourself crying. You may find yourself weeping. You might find yourself just pouring out to God. And it might not even make any sense to you. But what you are doing, thank you, Holy Spirit, you're connecting with his spirit. 
Glory to God. You're connecting with the spirit of God because you're becoming transparent and you're becoming real with him. Hiya. Yeah. Yes, God, because he already knows. Somebody hashtag God already knows. He already knows, Prophetess Tony. He already knows. Glory to God. He says that's he, that's when God says, I need you to cast your cares. Oh, this is good tonight. When, when Jesus says, cast your cares upon me, for I care for you, saith the Lord. Come on. <laughs> Glory to God. He says, cast your cares upon me. Glory to God. For I care for you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I need you to give it to me. See, that's what it means when Jesus says, cast your cares. Who this is a good teacher tonight. Hallelujah. He says, cast your cares upon me for I care for you, saith the Lord. So he's saying, I need you to give it to me. Ooh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Even when you're facing enemies, even when you're facing people that don't like you. Who am I talking to tonight? Somebody has some enemies. Listen, just because you have enemies, God says, pray for them. This is good tonight. The Bible says, bless them. Come on. Hallelujah. So even if you're facing something that seems hard, mm, it might be a hard trial or a hard test. Ooh, I'm on somebody's street tonight. Hallelujah. Give it over to God. Hiya. Hallelujah. Listen, God loves when you can't deal with it. Mm. Listen, listen, listen. I say God loves when you can't handle a thing. My, my, my. Thank you, Minister Tanya. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need you all to mute your line on the prayer line, if you if you will, please. Everyone just mute your phone out if you can for me, please. Thank you. Glory to God. And so, yes, he, he God wants that hard thing. He says, cast it over to me. Hallelujah. He says, give me that hard thing. Hiya. Yes, God. He says, and I will work it out for you. Glory, glory, glory. For Romans 8 and 28 declares, and we know. That all things, somebody shout all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things what? Work together for the good to them who what? Love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. Come on. Come on. Come on. Catch this word tonight. Hallelujah. Come on. Catch it. Catch it in the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God wants to perfect those things that concerneth you. Ha, ah, but if you don't never give it over to him, then how can he take it? Come on. If you don't ever give him the depression, who am I talking to? Hallelujah. If you don't give him even those suicidal thoughts, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, you got to give it over to higher. Yes, God. You got to say, Lord, help me. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, the Psalm of David, listen, David decreed and declared many times in the, in the Psalms. He said, help me, O oh God. He said, make haste, oh God, to deliver me. It's nothing wrong with asking God to deliver you. Mm. It's nothing wrong, people of God. Hallelujah. If your body is racking with pain and, and you have sickness in your body, it's nothing wrong with asking God to touch you and heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. Ha! Ah, glory to God, but it's in his presence. Ooh, I feel the glory of God tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. I feel the power of God moving. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord moving. Hallelujah. Listen, God says in Psalm 70, let's turn it real quick. Let's turn it real quick. What does David say? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody catch this real quick. Real quick. We're going to turn to Psalm 70. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Psalm 70. We're still talking about the presence of the Lord, right? But see, listen, sometimes you got to get low. Woo. Sometimes you got to get in a low place. Listen, hallelujah. And I just want to be transparent right here. I have found myself, and I, I just got to testify about where God has me. I have found myself when I go through situations, even with people, or when I go through situations that are too much for me. I find that it's easier to give it over to God now. Come on, instead of me trying to handle it. Because how many of you know you can't handle it? Come on, you got to give it over to God. Come on, and let him take care of it. Because guess what? He can deal with your problem much better than you can. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. Come on, somebody catch this word real quick. 
Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, God, hiya. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Somebody shout, God can deal with it much better than I can. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. He can deal with it much better than you can. Amen. Come on. He, he can make that thing. Glory to God. It seems so bad. And guess what? God will turn it, turn it around. And he'll show you the good in it. And next thing you know, you'll sit there and you'll be saying, wait a minute. It was some good in that. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I can overcome that? Come on, somebody. You mean to tell me I had to go through that because it was a lesson in it? Oh, y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. There are times, glory to God, that God will allow you to go through things. Who am I talking to right here? But guess what? It's so that, hallelujah, it's so that when you go through it, you will learn from it. Come on. That's right. The low place. The low place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God says, listen, in the low place is where I will exalt you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Listen, it's in the low place. Somebody shout the low place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, it's in the low place that God will exalt you in due time. Right, Sister Charlene? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's when you humble yourself. Mm, this is good tonight. This is good tonight. It's when you humble yourself and get to a low place. Glory to God. Which means now you have to die to some things. See, this type of teaching ain't going to go viral. You know why? Because people don't want to die. <laughs> they don't want to die to their flesh. They don't want to die to the things that are pulling them down. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But this is the time where we as God's children, we gotta, we have to usher in his presence and we got to stay there. And when God deals with us in his presence, we're going to turn to Psalm 70 in a minute. When God deals with us in his presence and he shows us who we really are in his presence, we have to take it for face value. We got to say, okay, God, okay, okay, I, 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 I welcome the change. However you got to break me, Lord. Come on, whatever you got to take away from me. Come on, because a lot of times, thank you, Holy Ghost, there are things that are in the way, hallelujah, of you being ushered into his presence. Come on. A lot of times there are people that mean you no good that are standing right in the way of you. Come on. And if you read Psalm 1, it tells you, don't, listen, don't stand in the, in the, um, in the presence of the sinners. In other words, don't stand before them. Glory to God. Let them do whatever it is that they're going to do. Right? But let's read Psalm 70 real quick. Let's read Psalm 70. David says, make haste, O God, to deliver me. He says, make haste to help me, O Lord. I need you all to share on Facebook. Come on. Share with your followers on Periscope. Glory to God. He says, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Who needs to be delivered tonight? Come on. She says, all of this is for me tonight. Lord, you have the power over all things I'm going through. See? Come on, Sister Stacy. You need to grab this word. You need to grab all of it. God's going to bless you tonight. He's going to pull you out of that place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So David goes on to say, make haste to help me, oh God. Verse 2, let them be ashamed and confound that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion who desire my hurt. Listen, there might be people who desire to see you hurt. There might be people who desire, you know, for confusion to be in your life. What does the scripture say? He says, let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. So it's nothing wrong with giving it over to God. Amen. Because he already knows. Somebody shall God already knows. He already knows. He just wants you to give it to him. Amen. Verse three goes on to say, and let them be turned back for a reward of their shame. Thank you for sharing evangelist Arlene. Hallelujah. Let them be, let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. So there might be people who are laughing at you or they're laughing at your situation or they're laughing at your circumstance. It's okay. Let them laugh because when you pray and ask God to deliver you and bring you out of that thing, he's your God. Come on. I just want to teach right here. He is your God. Hiya. Yes, Lord. I said, he's your God. Mm. He might not be their God. Come on here. Hallelujah, but he's your God. And I promise you, when you call on your God, mm, hallelujah, when you call on the name of Jesus, woo, glory, glory, glory. I said, when you call on the name, higher, 
Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. When you call on the name of Jesus, something happens. Glory to God. He will show up for you. Somebody shout, he gonna show up on my behalf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody shout, God is getting ready to show up for me. Hallelujah. I don't know how he's gonna do it. Glory to God. But he's getting ready to show up on my behalf. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God is getting ready to show up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting ready to deliver you and bring you out of that place that you were in. Hallelujah. And everybody that laughed at you, can I just prophesy right here? Hallelujah. Everybody that laughed at you and said you would never be anything or you'll never come out of that situation or you know she's always been like that or he's always been like that and glory to God he's never going to be anything I come to prophesy right here and right now and tell you hallelujah that God's going to bring you out of that place and not only is he going to bring you out he's going to bring you through oh glory be to God somebody show he's going to bring me out and he's going to bring me through Glory, glory, glory. Anytime God gives you a breakthrough, hallelujah, is so that you can break forth. Uh, who am I prophesying to right here? Hallelujah. You're getting ready to go. Hallelujah. Glory to God from glory to glory. You're getting ready to experience higher. Yes, God, a breakthrough like never before. My God, and that breakthrough, I hear your Holy Ghost. Uh, the breakthrough, God says, uh, is so that you can break forth. Somebody shout, I'm getting ready to break forth. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Somebody shout, I'm about to break forth. I'm getting ready to break forth. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to break forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to get a major breakthrough. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say within the next three days. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's going to seem like you never was in a situation. Woo! Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord. He says within the next three days, it's going to seem like you ain't even go through nothing. Hallelujah. That's why when you're going through some things, you got to praise him in advance. Hallelujah. You got, listen, listen, listen. Hallelujah. You got to go through with a smile on your face. Oh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. See, some of you, glory to God, when the enemy coming up against you, hallelujah, you let the devil see you sweat. Somebody shout, I ain't sweating in this season. Hallelujah. Why? Because God got my back. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You ain't going to sweat. Oh, I hear you, God. In this season, the Lord say he's going to fight and vindicate for you. I don't know who needs to hear this tonight, but I hear it in my spirit. Yes, Lord. Hiya. Yes, God. Somebody's going to rise up. Somebody shout, I'm rising up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Conference participants, press one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Just bear with me for a moment, you all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe we're okay right now on the line. Can you all hear me on the line clear? Thank you, Jesus. All participants mm -hmm. are muted. All participants are muted, and they can unmute themselves. Hallelujah. Having a little technical difficulty, but we're going to stay right here. Everybody on the line, just keep your phones muted for me, if you will. Glory to God. Listen, that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Listen, you're not going to sweat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, listen, the Lord said he's going to fight. Hiya. Oh, God, I hear you. He's going to fight for you. You just sit back and watch him work. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, you just sit back and watch him work. I got Bible to back me up, y'all. Glory to God. We get ready to turn to the word. Amen. That's right. No more sweating in this season. Listen, God got your back. Some of y'all been working too hard because you've been trying to fix it yourself. Who am I prophesying to right here? You're not going to have to fix anything, says the Lord. Hallelujah. He's going to fix it for you. Oh, that's a word right there. Hallelujah. You don't have to fix anything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said he'll make your enemies your footstool. Y'all don't want to talk? Mm, come on here. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. God wants to fight for you. Hiya. Yes, God. Just stay in his presence. Come on. You got to stay in his presence. Come on, you got to stay in the ark of safety. Glory to God, you got to stay in his presence. Who am I talking to right here? Don't come out of his presence. Hiya. Yes, God, but you got to stay in his presence. Woo. Blessings to you, Sister Lisa. God bless you on tonight. Hallelujah. Share this video if you will. Glory to God. Thank you, Minister Tanya. The line is clear. Wonderful. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. And so, yes, the fruit of the spirit becomes an overflowing in your relationship. Thank you, Sister Lashanta. To God be the glory. Amen. Your relationship with him. And when you go into his presence in the midst of rough times, he will go to work for you. I'm going to say that one more time. When you spend time in his presence, worshiping, praying, talking to him, studying his word, meditating upon his word, what happens, people of God? The fruit of the spirit will begin to manifest in your relationship with him. And then next thing you know, when rough times come, when crisis come, when tribulation come, glory to God, when, when, when situations arise, look at what happens. God will go and he will work for you. He will fight on your behalf. Hallelujah. Why? Because you're in his presence. So what is God saying even in that? He's responsible for you. Woo, glory to God. I say God is responsible for you. Hey, yes, Lord. I'm talking to the children of God tonight. He's responsible for you. Somebody hashtag God is responsible for me. Who I feel strength right here. Hallelujah. I say somebody need to hashtag God is responsible for me. Woo, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Ooh, nor his seed begging for bread. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. I said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Ooh, yes, God. I feel like preaching right here. Hallelujah. Nor his seed begging for bread. Glory to God. God is able, hallelujah, to bring you out of any and every situation. Oh, yes. He's able to provide for you. Hallelujah. When you cannot provide for yourself. Glory to God. I said he's able to provide for you. Hiya. Yes, God. When you can't even provide for yourself. Um, hallelujah. God will raise up somebody. Hiya. Bashando. Woo. God to bless you. Glory to God. In your, in your point of need. At your point of need. He will send somebody. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody shout, oh yes, glory to God. I said he will send somebody, hallelujah, to bless you. Glory to God. God say if he got to raise up, hallelujah, a heathen, glory to God, that's what he's going to do. Glory to God for the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. God has a way. Oh God, I hear you. Yes, Lord, somebody needs provision tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody needs provision tonight. Yes, God. Somebody needs a way made in their finances tonight. God, I hear you. And I prophesy now in the name of Jesus, huh? oh, that it will show up for you. That it will show up in your bank account. That it will show up in your mailbox. I prophesy now it will show up in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, Lord, let it show up for me. Woo, yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Father. Somebody shout, let it show up for me. Glory, 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 glory. How many of you know people may have counted you out? I hear you, God. People may have counted you out, but God says he's counting you in. Mm. Woo. Hiya. Yes, God. Those that prayed against you. God told me to tell you that he's boomeranging the prayer back to the sender. Hiya. Woo. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I said those of you, hallelujah, that got people coming against you. I hear God very clearly. I hear him very clearly tonight. He says he's getting ready to boomerang those prayers back to the sender. Woo. My, my, my. You just need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are people that wish you fell. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because now where God got you at. Hallelujah. They was praying your downfall. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Mm. I hear you, Lord. There were some people praying your downfall. Hallelujah. But you're still standing. Woo. God. Hiya. Yes, Lord. If we was in the church, that'd be a praise break right there. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I said there were people that were praying your downfall, Minister Tanya. Hallelujah. They still don't know how you standing. Hiya. Woo. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm standing because of Jesus. Oh, yes. Woo. God, I feel your glory. Hallelujah. I'm standing because of the Lord. Hallelujah. No goodness of my own. Hallelujah. But I'm standing. Hiya. Woo. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Somebody shout, I'm standing in his presence. Woo. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, I'm standing in his glory. Hiya. Woo. God, I feel your power. Somebody shout, I'm standing in his presence. That's how I'm making it. 
Huh? Yes, God. That's how I'm making it. I'm making it because I choose to worship him. I'm making it because I choose to praise him. Hallelujah. I'm making it, glory to God, because I choose to pray and talk to my father in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah. And how many of you know something happens, glory to God, when you call on the name of Jesus? Hey. Woo, yes, Lord. I said something happens. Woo, God, I feel like running all over my house. Hallelujah. I said something happens when you call on the name of Jesus. Huh? Somebody need to call him tonight. Huh? Yeah. Somebody need to call on him tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to call on him for your family members. You need to call on him for your children. You need to call on Jesus right here and right now. Hallelujah. Because he's getting ready to make a way. Glory to God where there seemed to be no way. I said Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Woo, yes, God. Some of you call him Yeshua. Hamashiach. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I call him Jesus. Glory to God. Because the Bible says that at the name of Jesus. Woo. Yes, Lord. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, yeah. Somebody shout, it's all in the name. Hey, yes, God, I hear you. Somebody shout, it's all in the name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's all in the name. Glory to God. That's why you got to call him his name. Thank you, Jesus. I said it's in the name. It's in the name. It's, it's in the name of Jesus. Woo, God. Mm. Hallelujah. The Bible says that demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you cast out a devil, you got to cast that devil out in the name of Jesus. Oh, y'all don't want to talk up in here tonight. Hallelujah. I didn't mean to come on here and preach. I said, Lord, just let me teach your word. Hallelujah. But I feel a preach in my belly. Glory to God, because somebody needs to come out of a pit tonight. Woo. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. And somebody needs to know, glory to God, that you got to put Judah in front of you. You got to put praise in front of you. Who am I talking to? You got to put a praise, hallelujah, in front of you. Glory to God, because victory is right before you. Mm. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's right. <laughs> oh, yes, God. Somebody shout, I'm going to send Judah first. I'm going to send a praise first. Hallelujah. I'm going to say, 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 I'm Oh, I feel victory for somebody. I also felt the chains being broken off of somebody. And I heard the chains hit the floor. Glory to God. Oh, yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All you need to do is tap into the glory. That's all you got to do. All you need to do is tap into his presence. Hallelujah. All you got to do is lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. All you got to do is lift your hands and say, Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. All you got to do is lift your hands and say, I'm a sinner. Praise first. Hallelujah. I'm sending it first, God. Hallelujah. To go before me. I am a shekor. But it's somebody that's warring in the spirit tonight. Mm. Hallelujah. There's somebody that's wrestling with the devil. Hey, shut up. But God told me to tell you, you got the victory. Hallelujah. The moment that you praise God. Mm. Yes, Lord. I said the moment. Mm. Oh, yes, Father. I feel your glory and your power. I said the moment. God says the moment you praise him. He going to start fighting for you. He said, the moment that you glorify him. Ah, I feel, oh God, I feel glory. I feel victory in this atmosphere. He said, the moment that you lift him up. Woo, glory to God. Mm, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel revival, church. I feel revival tonight. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I said, I feel revival. Hiya. Yes, God. I said, I feel revival. I feel a praise. Hallelujah. Ringing up in somebody's spirit tonight. Glory to God. I said, I feel a praise. Hiya. Yes, God. You need to praise God for what he's getting ready to release this week. Somebody shout this week, this week, this week. Oh, yeah. Redman Sukoda Bashanda. Yeah, sometimes you got to have the spirit of expectancy. Mm. Oh, God, I feel your power. Yes, Lord. You got to have the spirit of expectancy. Glory to God. You got to wake up every day and say, good morning, Jesus. Lord, what do you have for me today? Mm. Hallelujah. Not complaining. Come on. Glory to God. Not complaining about yesterday. Come on, somebody. But you got to give God a praise for what he's getting ready to release on today. Mm. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. We're still talking about being in his presence. Glory to God. 
The Lord says he wants you to abide in his presence. Abide means to dwell. Abide means to live. Come on here. Glory to God. And Jesus says, he says he is the true vine. Glory to God. But you got to abide in him. You got to dwell in his presence. Come on. Let us turn to John chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. John chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see a mighty release for some of you this week. Oh, yes. This week, this week, this week. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's going to be a release for many of you. Thank you, Father. A release that you wasn't even expecting. Ah, yeah. Yes, Father. I thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody need to give him praise. Praise him in advance for the release. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him in advance for the release. Come on. Somebody need to praise God for the release. There's some of you. Glory to God. It's like you've been asking God for provision. Come on. Praise him for the release. Yes, Lord. Whoever does not have their phone muted, I need you to mute your phone, please. Thank you so much. We're having some technical difficulties tonight, and I'm unable to mute manually, so I need you to just mute your phones out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Glory to God. I know y'all want to praise them. We're going to praise them in a minute. Hallelujah. We're going to unmute the line in just a moment. Once this word is done, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Mm. But I feel, I feel that God wants to... Hallelujah. He wants to move. Glory to God on behalf of some of you tonight concerning your finances. Mm -hmm. I don't prophesy that unless I hear it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I hear you, God. Favor. Hiya. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I prophesy favor over your life. The favor of God to fall fresh upon you now. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name. Hiya. Yes, God. There's a release right there. I felt that. Thank you, Jesus. There's a release in your finances. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm not a money prophet. I don't even like to prophesy money unless I hear it. Glory to God. But God's going to give many of you favor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I try to stay away from it because I see so many people doing it. And I say, Lord, you're not always, God is not always prophesying money. Come on. He prophesies obedience. <laughs> come on here. He wants us to be obedient so that when the finances come, we do the right thing with it. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. But you got to be careful when you hear these prophets always prophesying about money. Come on. Your soul get ready to go to hell and you and you worried about money. Come on, somebody. Okay, we're going to leave that right there. Because when you start talking like that, people don't like that. They say, no, I got a money prophet. Always, you know, whenever I need money, I just release a seed. And, you know, it's all about money. Mm -mm. God wants to give you more than money. Come on, let's stay right here for 60 seconds. Can we stay right here for 60 seconds? He wants to give you joy. Come on. Listen, he wants to give you peace. Listen, come on, somebody. I know a millionaire, glory to God. I know a few millionaires. And guess what? They don't know Jesus. Come on, somebody. And if you, you can have a million dollars and don't know the Lord, you are still empty. Come on, because you, you, you don't have the joy of God. You don't have the peace of God. Your, your soul is not full and filled. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. Then I know some people that ain't got much, and they got Jesus. And guess what they say? They say, you know what? I'm good right here. Come on here. Hallelujah. They say, listen, long as I can. They say, listen, I got Jesus and two pennies to rub together. Come on, somebody. And then they'll be like the woman with the two mites, and they'll just give the two mites. And they'll say, you know what, God? I'm going to give you the little bit that I have. Oh, y'all don't want to talk? Come on. God is looking for us to be content in the state that we are in. Come on, somebody. We got to be content. Huh? Yes, Father. In the state that we are in. Mm. Hallelujah. I take joy over money any day. 
I take the peace of God. Y'all don't want to talk. Come on, somebody, because when your mind is all over the place, who am I talking to? And you just, you can't, you can't seem to make things, you know, come together. And you, you're at a place where it's like your thoughts is just all over the place. Listen, that's confusion. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I felt the release right there. God is delivering somebody from the spirit of confusion. For God has not given us. Hallelujah. He is not. Listen, God is not the author of confusion. He has given us power, love, and a sound mind, people of God. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So when confusion is around, that's the enemy. Come on. But where there's peace, where there's love, where there's joy, that's where God is. Somebody shout in his presence. Oh, yes, God. Mm. Some of y'all going to desire to be in his presence even the more after tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you are going to desire to just bask in his presence and stay there. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Many of you after tonight, you're just going to say, God, I want more of you, God. More of you, God, and less of me. Hallelujah. More of your spirit, God, and less of me, God. Hallelujah. Take those things out, God, that don't bring you no glory. Hallelujah. And put the things in my life, God, that's going to bring you glory. Hallelujah. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Hiya. Yes, God, but there's a mighty release. I hear the spirit of the Lord. Mm. There's a mighty release for Aya. Oh, yes, God. For some of you this week, I hear God. He says, I'm going to give you the favor that you need. Mm. Hey. Woo. Yes, God. Mm. It's in his presence. Yes, Lord. Okay, let's continue. John chapter 15, verse 1. What does Jesus say? Jesus says, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Verse 2, he says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it might bring forth more fruit. Come on. I'm going to read that one more time. We in John chapter 1. I just read 1 and 2. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we love you tonight, God. Hallelujah. He says, I am the true vine. Mm -hmm. The true vine, the true vine. Somebody shout, Jesus is the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Uh huh. He says, every branch that is in me, in, in, in. So you got to be in him. Come on. He said, every branch that is in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh it away. Come on. He says, but every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Purge means to purify. Come on. When Jesus says he, he, he purges the branch, he cuts off the things that don't belong so that it can bear much fruit. Come on. Have you ever seen a tree that needed to be cut down in some areas in order for it to keep on growing? Come on. Some branches needed to be cut. Come on, somebody. The branch might have been too long or, you know, um, the branch might be in the way and it might be hindering another branch from growing. So what Jesus is saying is he has to cut down some things in your life, cut some things from your life. Glory to God. So that you can continue to live. Come on, receive this word. Now, verse three says what? Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now you are clean through the word. Somebody shout, I'm clean through the word, which I have spoken unto you. Come on. So God cleanses us through his word. So even as I'm reading the word and you're hearing the word, glory to God, God is cleansing you through his word. Come on. There's a purification that's taking place tonight, right? Verse four, one of my favorite verses. He says, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear forth fruit by itself. Come on. We can't do this by ourselves. We need, we need, the, we need the, the true vine who is Jesus himself. Verse 4 goes on to say, Except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. Those are the words of Jesus, right? So he's saying, listen, I'm going to sum it all up. What, he really, what, what Jesus is saying in the scripture, you know what he's saying? Just stay in me. He's saying, just stay in me. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. He's saying, just stay in me. I need you to stay in me, says the Lord. The Lord says, when you stay in my presence, mm, hallelujah, when you stay connected to me, glory to God, everything you need is in that connection. 
Hallelujah. He says everything that you need is going to start bearing forth fruit. Glory to God. And Jesus says, listen, I will, I will purge that, that tree. I will purge your tree. I will purge it. Glory to God. So that you can bring forth much fruit. Somebody shout much fruit. See, there are some of us. And I got to tell you, I got to make this personal. There are some of us who, who desire fruit. I preached a message last week. What's on your tree? So there are some of us who really care about what's on our tree. Come on. There are some of us who really care about being a help to others. Come on. Glory to God. See, if you don't care, glory to God, about your tree and what's on your tree, then you don't, you, you don't have no need for any fruit. But for those of us, come on. I'm talking to the children of God tonight. All 42 viewers and all, to, all 13 viewers. Come on. Glory to God. 42 on Periscope, 42 on Facebook, and 12 on Periscope. And we have nine callers on the prayer line. So I'm speaking to all of you on tonight. Hallelujah. I know that you desire fruit on your tree. Come on. Somebody should be able to come to you. Glory to God and be able. Hallelujah. To eat off of your tree. If there's nothing on your tree, then guess what? Jesus said he has to cut it down. Come on. It, it, glory to God. If our branches are messed up. Hallelujah. And guess what happens? He has to cut them down. Come on. If we don't abide in him, hallelujah, and his word, what? Abide in us. Glory to God. For the Bible declares, let's go to verse 7. So now I'm at John 15, verse 7. 15 and 7 says, if you abide in me and my words, somebody shout words, words, and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. That's right, Sister Stacy. that fruit, that fruit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you abide in him. Glory to God and his word. See, it's the word of God that has to be in us. Glory to God. And so as we talked in the beginning, we got to pray. We got to get in his word and we have to worship him, right? To stay in his presence, right? So when we abide in him, that means we dwell in him. Somebody shout abide means to dwell. Glory to God. And where you abide is where you dwell. Come on. And your dwelling place is where you, where you lay your head at. <laughs> Come on here. Glory to God. Your dwelling place is your resting place. That's good, right? Come on. Hallelujah. And so let us turn to, mm -hmm. God bless you tonight. Blessings to you, Sister Izina. God bless you. Blessings to each and every one of you. If I have not greeted you, God bless you on tonight. So dwell means, here's the definition of dwell. Dwell means to live in or at a specific place dwell means to also think to ponder on to speak to write at length about so when you dwell on something you take the time to give it time you know you take the time to say okay i want to speak on a topic well i want to speak on that so i'm going to dwell on it right so that's just like when we dwell in his in his presence we also dwell on his word that's good right come on we, we have to dwell in his presence and we also dwell on his word. So when, when God gives us his word, which is really meat for us, right? It, it's, it, it's what helps us to survive. I need you all to share on Facebook. Come on, share one more time. Glory to God. When we have the meat of the word, glory to God. Amen. The meat of the word comes and it's so that we can survive. Amen. Because now we have, we learn to dwell in his presence and we learn to dwell on his word. Glory to God. So we now have the dwelling place. Amen. Let us turn to Psalm 91 because God is so, he's so precise in his word. Hallelujah. That when we, when we dwell in the secret place, somebody shout the secret place, something happens. Glory to God. Something amazing happens when you dwell in the secret place. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Come on. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Listen, God is able. Hallelujah. I say God is able. Hiya. Yes, God. I say God is able. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 91 declares, what does it say? He that dwelleth. Now, that's the word that we were talking about, right? He that dwelleth where? In the secret place. Mm-hmm. Of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. My God in Him will I trust. Surely, somebody shall surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. 
His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler, and thou shalt not be afraid. Come on, somebody shout, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah, because I dwell in the presence. Haya Bashando. Yes, God. Because I dwell in the presence of the Lord. I'm not afraid. The, David goes on to say, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for the pestilence. Yeah, some pestilence. Come on, somebody. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Come on, somebody. Get your word tonight. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Come on. But it shall not come near thee. I just want to interject the scripture. No weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned, saith the Lord. Let's read verse 8. He says, only, mm, God, I feel your glory. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, mm, which is my refuge, uh -huh, even the most high thy habitation. The psalmist is saying, you have made Jesus your habitation. Woo! God, that's so powerful tonight. Hallelujah. You have made the Lord your dwelling place. My, my, my. Mm. Hallelujah. Somebody show, I have made the Lord my dwelling place. Come on here. Somebody show, I have made the Lord my dwelling place. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ooh, glory to God. I can't go a day without him. Yes, God. I can't go a minute without him. I can't go a second without the Lord. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, listen, glory to God. He says, because thou has made the Lord. Mm. Ooh, this is good tonight. We're going to just pause right here. Say lot. We're going to think about this for a minute. I want y'all to think about Psalm 91. Yeah. Yeah. You have made the Lord. Mm. Ooh, glory to God. See, God gives us choices. Mm. God gives us free will. Mm. Come on. <laughs> yes, Lord. Say lie. We're we just going to meditate upon that for a second. Mm. I have made the Lord. Ooh, God, my dwelling place. Hey, I have made the Lord. Hallelujah. I have made him mm. my refuge. Glory to God. Come on, somebody shout, I have made him, hallelujah, my habitation. Listen, I choose to stay in the glory. Woo, shut up. Hallelujah, I said I choose to stay in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, because see, if the devil could have it his way, guess what? You be out of his presence. Come on, hallelujah. If the enemy could have it his way, Sister Lisa, glory to God. Listen, you be out of the glory. Hiya, hallelujah. But now, hallelujah, you desire to stay in his presence. You desire to stay in his glory. You saying, God, I can't make it without you. Woo, mm. yes, God. Mm. Woo, yes, Lord. I feel the fire of God being released tonight. What did the scripture say? It says, there shall no evil, mm befall thee neither shall thy plague neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling my god for he shall give his angels somebody shout angels 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 <laughs> yes lord hallelujah somebody shout god has angels hiya oh yes god hallelujah he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways and they shall bear thee up in their hands Mm. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Oh, this is good tonight. And thou shalt tread. Come on. You shall step upon. Hiya. Yes, God. I said you shall tread. Hallelujah. Upon the lion and the adder. Glory to God. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample underfoot. Glory to God. You shall trample over the evil one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Luke 10 and 19 declares. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus said, behold, I've given unto you power. Glory to God. He said, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions uh, and over all the power of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout, I'm going to tread upon the enemy. Hiya. Yes, God. He said, nothing. Mm. Woo, my, my, my. He said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. You got the power to tread. Glory to God. You got the power to step upon. You got the power to crush the head of the enemy. Somebody shout, I'm going to tread. Hiya. Yes, God. And I'm going to crush. Woo. 
Because God has given me the power to do so. Oh, God, I feel your glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. Because he has set his love upon me. Come on. Therefore, will I deliver him? Uh-huh. I will set him on high because he knows my name. That's relationship. Mm. We're going to stay right here for a minute. That's relationship. Woo. Hallelujah. When God knows your name. That's relationship. Hey, I said that's relationship. Glory to God. See, when you desire to stay in his presence. Oh, God, I feel your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When you desire to stay in his presence. Glory to God. You're building relationship. And he knows your name. Mm. Somebody shout, he knows my name. Hey. Glory, glory, glory. And see, when he knows your name, hallelujah, he can write your name. Hiya. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. When God knows your name, Sister Darlene, hallelujah, glory to God. He says then he can write your name Woo. in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hey. <laughs> Somebody shout, my name is written. Woo. Hallelujah. I don't know where we get ready to go. We shifting again. Hallelujah. I said my name is written. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. It's written in the Lamb's book of life. Mm. All because I desire him. See, it goes beyond salvation. Let me just help somebody right here. For those of you, glory to God, that feel like you just saved and that's fine. Okay? No, it goes beyond that. Hallelujah. It goes beyond salvation. You need to be delivered. You got to be healed. You need to be set free. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Y'all don't want to talk. Hallelujah. I said you need the power of God in your life. Hallelujah. Mm. Somebody shout, I got to be filled with his spirit. Hiya. Yes, Lord. I said, I got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Not just preaching the word of God. Hallelujah. But living the word of God. Come on, somebody. Not just, hallelujah, when the enemy comes up against you. Hallelujah. You need the word of God to be able to stand against the devil. Come on here. For the Bible declares, put on the whole armor of God so that you might be able to stand. Woo, yes, God, against the wiles of the enemy. Come on, we in the last and evil days. You need the power of God in your life. Come on, you need the Holy Ghost. Hiya. Yes, God. You need the power of God in your belly. Hiya. Yes, Lord. I said you need the power of God in your belly. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Come on, somebody. We teach you here in this ministry. Hallelujah. Come on. You need the power of God working in your life. Come on here. Come on. Hiya. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to call on Jesus. Whoo. Yes, God. He going to fill you right where you are. Yes, God. I said, somebody need to call on Jesus. He going to fill you right where you are. You might be laying down in your bed. You need to sit up. Glory to God. Hiya. Yes, God. You might be in the kitchen washing dishes. You need to stop washing those dishes. And you need to call on Jesus. Mm. Somebody shout, I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. I need the power of God working in my life. Hallelujah. I need the Holy Ghost power of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need the evidence of... God, I hear you. You need the evidence of the Holy Ghost, which is speaking in unknown tongues. Come on here. Hiya. Somebody show, I need the evidence. Hey. Oh, God, I feel your glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. There's a prophetic encounter that's taking place right now. Hallelujah. There's an impartation. Hiya. In the realm of the spirit. You need the Holy Ghost. Woo. Yes, God. You need the power of God in your life. Oh, yes. And you need it to be working. Hiya. Yes, I said you need it to be working. Hallelujah. You don't need to just talk about it. No, you need the power of God working in your life. Hallelujah. You know why sickness is taking over many people? Hallelujah. The reason why sickness is taking over the saints, glory to God, is because, hallelujah, they don't have the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. See, where I came from. 
Hallelujah. The teaching I came from abundant. Glory to God. If you had the Holy Ghost, higher by Shundo, you can speak healing over your body. Mm. Come on here. No sickness shall come near your ah, yeah. Yes, God, I hear you. No sickness shall come near your dwelling. So why are you sick? Woo, shut up. Come on here. The saints shouldn't be sick. Hallelujah. How I said the saints shouldn't be sick, y'all. Come on, Jesus. Huh? Glory to God. He wants you to pray over the sick. So how can you be sick? Come on. He said greater works. Mm, God, I feel your power. He said greater works than these shall you do. Come on. He said you shall cast out devils in my name. Hiya. Yes, God. He said you shall raise the dead. You shall heal the sick. Woo. My, my, my. <laughs> Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. But I'm going to keep on talking. Glory. Because somebody's going to get this impartation. Hallelujah. I said, somebody is going to get this impartation. Hallelujah. Somebody tonight. Woo, yes, God is going to receive this prophetic impartation. Oh, yes. Somebody wants more of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody wants more of God. Hallelujah. Somebody wants more of Jesus. Hiya. Woo, somebody wants more power tonight. Glory to God. And he's going to give you his power. Power to stand. Power to love. Power to talk, right? Y'all don't want to talk. Glory to God. I say he's going to give you his power. Higher. Oh, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Sister Elena, you know what I'm talking about. When he gives you his power. Higher. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Not only does he give you power, hallelujah, just to cast the devil out, but he gives you power to stand. Oh, yes. Woo. God, I feel your glory. I said he gives you power to stand. Woo, shut up. Higher. Yes, God. I said he gives you power to stand. Higher. Woo, yes, God. I thank you for your glory tonight. Hallelujah. He says he gives you power to stand. Somebody show overcoming power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody show overcoming power. I'm going to overcome. Hallelujah. I overcome by the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. But he's giving you power to stand tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you need power to stand. Huh? Who oh, God, I hear you. You need power to stand, church. Mm -hmm. In the face of adversity. Come on. In the face of tests and trials, you need power to stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the enemy wants you to be defeated. Somebody show I will not be defeated. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. Somebody show I will not be defeated. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you are a child of the king, there is no defeat. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. I said, when you are a child of the king, there is no defeat. No, not at all. Come on. We are more than conquerors. Ah, through Jesus Christ, who what? Loves us. Somebody shout, I got some overcoming power. Oh, yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. And I shall overcome. Hallelujah. I shall run through a troop. I shall leap over a wall. Glory to God. I shall overcome. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. Oh, you're going to overcome that test. I prophesy now. You're going to overcome that trial. I speak it over you now. You're going to overcome that situation. Hey, glory to God. By the power and the blood of Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm going to overcome. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You got the victory. Somebody shout, I have the victory. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. Somebody shout, I have the victory. Uh-huh. You have the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ha! Huh? Yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Jesus. You have the victory. Somebody shout, I have the victory. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. 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 I have the victory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I have the victory. Glory to God. And the victory is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Prophet Marco, tonight. Blessings, man of God. Great man of God. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm walking in favor. Oh, God, I just heard that. Hiya. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, I'm walking in favor. I just heard that. Hallelujah. For 12 of you on tonight, I'm walking in favor. God is going to listen. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying he's, go he's going to have you to defeat your enemies. Glory to God. And you're going to walk in divine favor. I just heard that. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Divine favor, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He's given you power to stand. He's given you power to love. He's given you power to walk right, power to talk right. Hallelujah. And he's also given you power, glory to God, hallelujah, to defeat the enemy. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say, get ready for divine favor. Mm. My, my, my. Woo. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Divine favor. You know, in his presence is fresh breath. Breath for you to breathe, to keep on living, to keep on going. Come on. That's why we stay in his presence. Come on. God says what was dead is now coming alive. Woo, hallelujah. I said what was dead, glory to God, is now being resurrected. Hallelujah. Let us turn to Ezekiel chapter 37. Many of you know the story of the prophet Ezekiel and how God commanded him, hallelujah, to speak to the dry bones. Glory to God. There was something that the prophet had to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so because he had to speak, mm, he had to speak the right thing at the right time. Woo, glory to God. See, something happens when you're in his presence, Sister Sequita, and you speak the right thing at the right time. I need you all to share this video, if you will, tonight. We're going to exit in about 10 good minutes. Is that all right? Ezekiel 37. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, God, I hear you. Woo, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us start reading at verse 1. Somebody needs this tonight. And it reads, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out of the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, mm -hmm, which was full of bones. Somebody shout full of bones. Verse two, and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, that word behold means see and see there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. Mm -hmm. They had been there for a long time. Hiya. Woo, Jesus, I feel your glory. Hallelujah. So what God is saying also that many of you that have been in a dry situation. Woo, God, I hear you. You've been in a dead situation. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to breathe life upon that thing. Hallelujah. Let's read verse three. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered and said, oh, Lord God, thou knowest. God, you know. You know, you know if these bones can live or not. Woo, God, God, you know if my situation can be risen. Yes, God. He says, God, you know, you know. Verse four, again, he said unto me, prophesy, somebody shall prophesy unto these bones and say to them, speak to them. Hallelujah. Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Mm. Verse five, thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath, somebody shout breath, to enter into them and you shall live. Mm. Ooh, I felt resurrection power right there. I said, you shall live. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. I said, you shall live. Glory to God. You shall live. And I will lay um, sinews mm -hmm, upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. Somebody shout resurrection. Woo. Yes, God. And you shall live. Hiya. Woo. Yes, God. I feel power. I, I feel power. I feel resurrection power now. Glory to God being released upon you so that you can live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Mm. And I prophesied and there was a noise. Oh God. And behold a shaking. Mm. Hallelujah. And the bones came together. Hallelujah. Bone to his bones. Somebody shout connection. 
Woo! Hallelujah. Now you realize why the enemy wanted you to stay dead spiritually. Oh God. Now you realize, hallelujah, why the enemy had wanted those dead situations to stay in your life. Hallelujah. Because now, glory to God, God is going to start connecting some things. Hallelujah. And once it connects, it's going to make a sound. Mm. Glory to God. And once that sound comes, hallelujah, it is the sound of life. Woo, my, my, my. Because anytime you hear a sound, glory to God, it makes you want to look and see what it is. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God is going to resurrect your situation and he's going to, oh God, he says he needs you to speak to it. And the moment you speak to it, Sister Izina, is going to come alive. But the moment it comes alive, it's going to connect. Hallelujah. And once it connects, glory to God, is now going to live. Woo, somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's continue to read here. The skin was covered upon them, but there was no breath in them. Come on, verse 9. Then said unto me, prophesy, hallelujah, unto the wind. Bashanda. Prophesy, son of man, uh-huh, say to the wind. Somebody show, I'm going to speak to the wind. Hallelujah. I'm now going to speak to the thing. Hallelujah. That is now before me. I'm going to speak to the wind. Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, hallelujah and breathe upon the slain, hallelujah, glory to God, that they may live, ha, huh? oh God, somebody shout, long life is ahead of me, ah, uh, yeah, Woo, somebody shout, long life is ahead of me, hey, God, somebody shout, long life is ahead of me, as God gave me this message earlier today, he told me to speak over many of you, he said, prophesy long life, ha, huh? yeah, so that they can continue the kingdom work. Mm. See, it's supposed to be some more people on this broadcast. That's why I ask you all to share. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be some of your family members. Mm -hmm. Some of your friends are supposed to be on this broadcast. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord commanded me to prophesy. I need you all to share real quick. Come on. Share in a few groups. Come on, tag a few names. Hiya. Yes, God. Mm hmm. Hallelujah. Because I'm getting ready to prophesy. Hallelujah. Long life. Yes, God. So that you can, you can fulfill and continue your kingdom assignment. Woo. See, some people want to live because they want to go to, they want to go to Vegas or, you know, some people want to live so that they can travel the world or. Some people want to live because they want a big family or, you know, some people want to just live so they can make a whole lot of money. Come on here. Glory to God. No, we should want to live to fulfill our kingdom assignment. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We should desire to live to fulfill our kingdom assignment. Come on, somebody catch this word real quick. Come on. Hallelujah. Stop letting people use you and let God use you. Woo. That was good right there. Hallelujah. Stop letting people use you and let God use you. Come on. Come on. I prophesy long life. I prophesy more years. Higher. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I speak. Higher. I shando. Yes, God. I hear you. I speak over your life. You shall live and not die. And you shall declare the works of the Lord. Each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Even those of you on our prayer line tonight, our members and covenant partners, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I speak that over your life now. Woo, yes, God. Hallelujah. That no sickness come near your dwelling. Hallelujah. For those of you tonight, glory to God, you had sickness in your body. I command that sickness to leave now in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Somebody shout, do it for me. Come on. Yes, God. Heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease. You got to go. Higher. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I prophesy now long life. I prophesy now more years over your life in Jesus' mighty name. You will fulfill your kingdom assignment. You will. 
you will. Ha, yes, God, I felt another release. You will receive your kingdom assignment. You will. And no sickness shall come near your dwelling. Glory, hallelujah. Not even your children. Hiya, even grandchildren. I prophesy now over the grands. Yes, God. I prophesy now over great-grandchildren. Those of you that have great-grandchildren, your children will not be sick. Hey, God, mm, no plague shall come near their dwelling in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody shall do it higher. Woo, yes, God, I feel your power. Hallelujah. God is healing somebody tonight. Mm. Diabetes, higher. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Arthritis. Hey, shoko raman didio sha. Redman siki didio shanda basheke. Redman sukora bashanda. Yes, God, I hear you. Ha, glory. Hallelujah. Hedio shanda. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I hear you. I hear you, Father. Mm. The Lord says, long life. Long life. You will fulfill your kingdom assignment in the earth realm. I speak it now over each and every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. It shall, it shall happen. It will be. It is so. <laughs> Glory to God. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, Then the Lord God formed the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Ha! Huh. Oh God. That was Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Job chapter 33 verse 4 declare the spirit of God has made me and the breath of the almighty gives me life. Mm. Somebody shout long life, long life. I want you all to hashtag long life, long life. Glory to God. Psalm 104 verse 30. Psalm 104 verse 30. You shall, I'm sorry, you send forth your spirit. They are created. And you renew the face of the ground. This is talking about God. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, you send forth your spirit. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. See, when God sends forth his spirit, just like he's doing now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, you are going to live. Hallelujah. You will not die prematurely. Oh, yes, God. I come against premature death in the name of Jesus. We cancel the assignment of the evil one now in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, God. Hallelujah. For you shall not die. I hear it again. I'm going to keep saying it. You shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Oh, yes. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 5. It speaks about how God gives breath to his people and the spirit to those who walk in it. Come on. He gives you long life. He breathes upon you when you walk in the spirit. Come on. For the Bible declares that we to walk in the spirit so that we do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Come on. Somebody show it's a spiritual thing. Come on, that's why I love this ministry and that's why this ministry reaches so many people because it's by his spirit that God is doing it. Hallelujah, God is no respecter of persons. Glory to God. He can hit, He can touch you right where you are. He can, he, listen, his spirit can hit you right where you are. Glory to God as I'm prophesying, as I'm talking, decreeing and declaring the word of God because it's by his spirit. Hiya. Oh, yes, God. And guess what? His spirit is living in me. Hey, shut up. Somebody show his spirit is living in me. Mm. Glory to God. That's why you got to have the Holy Ghost. Come on. That's why you need the power of God working in your life. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Desire the spiritual things of God. Come on. Desire more of God. Come on. He will come on in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will come on in when you desire the things of God. Somebody shall do it for me, Lord. Hallelujah. I need your presence, God. Mm. I need your glory. Hiya. Yes, God, we need you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
God, we thank you for your word on tonight, God. We thank you for the moving of your spirit, oh God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that we need your presence even the more on today. Now, Lord, as I have delivered your word unto your people, I have been obedient, oh God. Father, I ask that this word, Lord God, will penetrate their hearts in the name of Jesus, God. I know that the word will not fall to the ground, God, but it will accomplish what it was sent out to do. Father, I thank you even now, God, for edifying your people, for lifting them up in their spirits, God, and pulling them out of the dark places on tonight. Yes, God, by your power and by your word. Now, Father, I thank you even now, yes, God, for every person that has heard your word on tonight. Father, don't just let them be hearers, God, but be doers of your word also. Father, we thank you even now, God, yes, God, for the moving of your spirit. We thank you for your resurrection power, God. Yes, God, we thank you, Father, yes, God, that we shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Father, I speak a blessing over your people's life on tonight. I thank you that this week, Lord God, if you shall delay your return, Father, that this week will be a blessed week for your people. Mm. Lord, I decree and declare now, miracle signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Glory to God. Many miracles, many signs, and many wonders shall follow them that believe. Father, I decree and declare now that your word is so, and it shall manifest suddenly. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. God bless each and every one of you on tonight. Thank you for taking the time to join Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. I am Pastor Prophetess Carmen Haywood signing off. For those of you that want to jump on the line with us, you're more than welcome to. The number is 712 775-7031. The SS code is 222-953-820-POUND. Glory to God. There are some of you that desire to sow your seed on tonight. Glory to God. There are three ways that you can sow. You can sow onto our ministry cash app, which is Prophetic Impact 555. You can also sow your seed on paypal.me slash prophetic impact. Glory to God. You can also go to our ministry's website and you can, um, the website is www.propheticimpact1000.com. All right. Listen, three ways that you can get your seed in the ground and name your seed, the presence of the Lord. Amen. If you have another desire for your seed, listen, what it, listen, when you, when you sow into this ministry, name your seed. All right. Give your seed an assignment. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Anytime you sow into this ministry, which is very good soil, God moves here in this ministry tremendously. We have many testimonies. You can go on our website. Thank you, Minister Tanya. I'll pin the comment there for those who desire to sow. When you sow into this ministry, put your seed on assignment. Always name your seed and wait for the manifestation. All right. God's going to do it for you. Glory to God. Also, those of you who can sow into our building fund, we are a little bit over half now of our goal. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that has sown into our building fund. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are almost there. Glory to God. Listen, we are so close, y'all. Listen to the contract and the keys. Hallelujah. I said we are so close to the contract and getting the keys. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that one more time. We are close. Hallelujah. To signing that contract and getting the keys for our new place of worship. Amen. Listen, I'm excited too, Sister Izina. Glory be to God. Listen, those of you who have already sown, thank you, Sister Lisa, for your abundant seed on today. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, I want to just encourage you all, those of you that have it to sow, some of you have it, some of you may not. Listen, name your seed building fund. Glory to God. Please help us get in this new building. Amen. When I tell you God is up to something great here in North Carolina, listen, I have been obedient to the Lord. Listen, I left everything back in Pennsylvania, (laughs) y'all. Glory to God. And I am now here. Glory to God in Raleigh, North Carolina. And when I tell you I wouldn't take nothing for this journey. I'm so grateful to God and he has been amazing. When I tell you amazing to me and my children, the Lord has blessed us abundantly above and beyond what I could think or imagine. Amen. But we need your help for our ministry. All right. This is for the kingdom building. Amen. It's for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. And listen, it's souls here, right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
It's souls that God is going to save, heal, deliver, and set free through our ministry. Amen. So thank you all. God bless you all for your seeds and to our building fund, those who desire to sow tonight. If you were blessed tonight, get a seed in the ground. Any amount. Amen. Any amount. Glory to God. $25 seed, $50 seed. Listen, get your seed in the ground. Glory to God. And watch God manifest it. Amen. Watch God bring it to pass. God bless you all on tonight. We're going to exit on Periscope. God bless you, Periscope. We love you. I love you from Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. Have an awesome night and shalom. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And then we're going to exit on Facebook. I ask that you all will share this video just one more time. Can you do that for me? Just share it. Put it in somebody's inbox, if you will. Listen, I know it was kind of lengthy, but somebody needs it. Amen. We were so blessed on tonight. Glory to God. Listen, stay in the presence of the Lord. Join us for morning glory prayer on Monday. All right. Monday at 7 a.m. Set your alarm clock. Set it on your phone um, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. We're going to be on our prayer line. All right. Many of you know the prayer line number. Glory to God. Just dial in at 7 a.m. Listen, and just get ready. Stretch out. Listen, if you have a prayer shawl, if you have a, a, a white sheet that you want to lay out in, glory to God. We're going to pray and seek the face of God. We're also going to start our water consecration um, on Monday as well, and that is one gallon of water a day. Listen, go get your gallon of water tomorrow. Get you about five, six, or seven gallons of water from your from your closest grocery store your supermarket um and go ahead and go on as fast with us we're going to be drinking one gallon of water a day no tea no coffee no soda no juice <laughs> glory to god water will be your only form of liquid intake all right Glory to God. And I'm telling you, this water consecration is going to bless you. It's going to do something amazing for you. Amen. To God be the glory. God bless each and every one of you. Jump on our prayer line, 712-775-7031. Access code 222-953-820-POUND. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you all. Shalom.